How's it going everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you some must read books for designers to check out in 2022. So the first book we have up is this one, I Used to Be a Design Student. So this book's a dope little collection of short memoirs and ideas from different designers all across the world. It shares what their life was like as a design student and what their professional life is like now. It also compares a bunch of cool stuff like what their favorite food was then versus now or when they woke up in the morning or even who their biggest influences are. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. It's designed super Super well. It's very inspiring but also truthful and it gives you a broad range of perspectives from different types of designers. This next book up is Interaction of Color by Joseph Albers. This book's been around a while and I'm sure you probably heard of it before, but it's an all-time classic, so I couldn't help but share it. This book really changed my perspective on color as well as the relationships and impact that color can have in your design work. This book is just filled with wild examples of color psychology, optical illusions, and just all kinds of fundamentals that you need to help master color in your design work. Some of the examples that are referenced in this book just completely blew my little designer mind and it really changed the way I look at things. This book's also super versatile Versatile. It could be a nice book to read from front to back because there's a lot of knowledge in it. But it's also good to just have around, flip through, and reference whenever you need some inspiration or having trouble with color. These next two books, Symbol and Logo Type, are some of my favorite reference material that I own. They're not as much of a book you read, but definitely one that you learn from visually. Logo Type and Symbol pair well together for getting inspiration for logos, typography, icons, and everything in between. These books are just filled with timeless logo design that still hold up to this day. I also really enjoy the fact that not only do they show you these beautiful logos, but they give you nice little footnotes and explanations of the company that it was designed for. They're also small enough to carry around with you, so they make for great reference material, unlike some of the other logo books that are gigantic. This huge ass book. I highly recommend both of these for anyone interested in logo design, typography, or branding. This next book, Digital Minimalism, completely changed my relationship with technology and social media. Digital Minimalism is a must read for any creative. This book is all about creating a healthy relationship between yourself and the technology around us. The basic overview of this book is centered around this ideology called digital minimalism that Cal Newport, the author, came up with. Digital minimalism in a nutshell is using technology and the internet to aid us without distracting us from the real work we want to be doing. The book helps you figure out what technologies are just enough for you that will benefit you without overindulging and becoming problematic. Please check Check out this book and do yourself a favor and if you want to hear a little bit more about it i made a whole video about this book and i've been recommending it to almost everyone ever since i read it here's a nice little bonus book i got recently called punk flyers it's a nice design little book filled with punk flyers that i really enjoy and it's great for inspiration and anyone interested in flyer design poster design or any of that punk zine culture this is some of my favorite style of work so it's a great book for inspiration and also there isn't any reading however there's still a lot to learn from and there's a enough to digest visually that make it a good purchase. Masala Noir is a company that made this book and they make a bunch of cool little archive books like this. So I would definitely check the other ones out because they have stuff for all kinds of interests. I'm sure you heard about this book before, Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. I've even talked about it in my last books video, but I had to include it in this one. Steal Like an Artist to this day is still one of the most influential books I've ever read. Austin Kleon is a master of presenting ideas and new information in a visual way that's great for designers and creatives. This book is all about being an artist in the digital age, embracing influence, learning from others, and using some of those things in your own work. There's a ton of nuggets of knowledge on any page you flip to, and it's a great book to just have on your desk whenever you need a little inspiration. Overall, the book will leave you feeling very motivated and inspired to make some of your best art and grow with each of the designs you do. This cool red book is called Protest, The Aesthetics of Resistance. This book basically has stories about how you can use art and design in addition with protests to make change. This book documents different art, photography, and design that were used in revolutions and shows the importance of art and protesting. But it has some amazing history and will leave you feeling inspired to create some design for change. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out some more books, you can watch these videos here. I'll see you next time. Peace.